my athletic director, Derek Merrill, and I always uh, have been in accord and in lockstep on how we've approached it. We want to give these guys uh, as challenging a non-conference schedule as we can. We want to go out and play a national schedule for a couple reasons. Uh, we want to expose them to a lot of hype. We want to take them to places that they may not be able to go see and do. Uh, we want to get our brand back out there every day when we play. Uh, you look at, uh, at us finally being able to start at home, uh, which is a huge opener this year with Spring Hill. Uh, we're very excited to be uh, have a doubleheader that night with our women's team, which doesn't happen uh, very often that you can both uh, coordinate your, 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 your opener together. But uh, Coach Harrell and, and Coach Davenport, uh, we're blessed to, to work very, very close together. So for us to be able to open with Spring Hill is huge. Uh, on Thursday the 8th, we'll go to Northwestern to the Big Ten uh, and play in the newly renovated Welsh Ryan Arena. will be the first game uh, in their arena, which will be a great atmosphere uh, for our team. I'm pretty sure the game's going to be uh, nationwide on the Big Ten network. Uh, we come back on Monday and got Pensacola here, uh, a team we've played before. Uh, Wednesday, November 18th, uh, we'll head over to UAB, a team we played last year and had a very, very competitive uh, game with them. Uh, it's a great atmosphere. It's a lot personally for me uh, to go back there uh, and be able to, to, to be in that uh, facility uh, is just a neat experience and uh, glad to be a part of that. Thanksgiving weekend at home, we've got Governor State on Saturday uh, for a noon tip off. And then we get to, to load the lake front on November 28th. Uh, the November 28th game is a huge day for us. Uh, we've got a home game with the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. Uh, coming in, so we're excited uh, to have that former Sun Belt foe back and in in-state rival that we played uh, so many great games with over the years and have our students here. One of the things that strategically we did when we made that game uh, was we had to have the return back when our students were here. We wanted the game uh, where students could be a part of it, not over break, not in December when classes are out, uh, but on that Wednesday. Uh, the next Wednesday, we've got South Alabama here. Uh, they're led by Richie Riley, who was the coach at Nichols State. Uh, a team that we're obviously very familiar with, having played against him the last two years and losing at the buzzer there a year ago. Uh, December 13th, uh, following finals, we'll head to Tulsa and play the University of Tulsa. And then on Tuesday the 18th, we'll return to the West Bank. The first time, I believe, uh, I, I've asked my fact, fact checker, and I'm pretty sure it was close, I think since the 2009, the first time we played on the West Bank. So we're glad to be back at the Lario Center uh, it's a neat opportunity for us to go back. Obviously, Scott uh, being from right there around the corner, Vermont playing over there. But more importantly than that, our huge alumni base in Jefferson Parish uh, that is over there that may not have the opportunity to come as frequently and easily to the lakefront. Gives them a great opportunity to see our, our team, see our program, <coughs> see the progress we've made and be a part of it and reconnect. Uh, we'll finish our, our, our December slate uh, at Pitt on December 20th, take a break for Christmas, and then come back on and December 29th to go to Baylor, the Big 12 Conference. Uh, huge opportunity.